Welcome back to the Sports Sources segment brought to you by Express Frame. And when it comes to having your sports memorabilia framed, your treasures protected behind museum quality glass, I always turn to Express Frame. And look at this keepsake from Omaha. Look at the eyeballs on our, our two <laughs> Cheshire Cat guys. Uh, Kilroy was here. But you've got the new panoramic shot from the final out. And I get, Chris, if you can zoom in just a tad so people can now see the, uh, the uh, and it's okay to zoom in on it. There we go. The team is charging onto the field there. Uh, but you can get this. You can decide on the type of glass you want. You can choose the type of frame. You can mat it if you like. All of that at Express Frame. And if you go in there and say Sports Source, you get 20% off on the whole deal. 20% off uh, if you take it to Express Frame. You can pick this up, this tremendous panoramic shot to uh, remember the national championship in baseball forever. I love the Tennessee Power T national champions <laughs> yeah. on the video board. In the right video board, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Got like an extra deal, right? Yeah. The dead center. All right, let me go ahead and grab this from you guys. All right. Very good, thank you. And this is what we got coming up. I said it's a big week for the SEC. Take a look at that. Tomorrow, the SEC officially expands to 16 teams. That looks like something, you know, if I were a kid, I would have that as wallpaper or pajamas <laughs> or whatever. That looks really good. Uh, but it's the new SEC 16 teams. Next Sunday on our show, we're going to do a deep dive into the expanded SEC rivalries, rivalries that matter. Tennessee just played in a conference game for the world, for the national championship. Did anyone here think of Texas A&M as a rival? I do not. No. 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 I no. do not. They've been in the league for 12 years, and no. yet it still did not feel like a rivalry. Nope. All Agreed. Right. But that is next Sunday. Right now, however, I do want to give out one last bit of congratulations to the guy who's been calling Tennessee baseball games for 30 years now. Uh, this was him making that final call the other night. Uh, John Wilkerson. Man, he loves Tennessee baseball like no one else. Uh, and for him to call that last out after so many ups and downs over the decades, uh, I, I know there were plenty of us in the media who were as happy for him as we were for the team. Uh, when it comes to Knoxville media, he is the best of us. So congratulations to John Wilkerson and decades of loyal Vol coverage coming to fruition in Omaha the other night. All right, we got about three or four minutes here, which means we got time to kill. And I, mean, <laughs> I, wanted, I, wanted, to let, I wanted to leave it to kill. Anything we didn't talk about with this national championship. Any, we can go anywhere. We can tell, you can go anywhere you want in terms of this title, who deserves credit, who will be remembered, what's next, et cetera. I, I'll, I'll jump in first. I mean, props as well for, for me to John because I've seen him – put his every single ounce of being into his so many <laughs> calls, and I've been in the booth with him and so happy for him. And Jeff Wood is, as well, the uh, equipment manager, strength uh, condition. I mean, he's done so many things there. Jeff Wood has been amazing as their, uh, um, as their, their top medical guy. Uh, and this team is constructed with a lot of high school players. Out of everyone on the roster, 27 high school signed players, seven JUCOs, six transfers. So this wasn't a transfer portal national championship. There were some key players in it, but not all of them. That's good for the base and the foundation mm -hmm. moving forward. The portal will be big for them because they're going to lose six of their eight position players outside of the mound, and they'll have some mound losses also. But this is now a terrific destination place in college baseball. So I do think that they're going to be – the names will be different, but I still think they'll be very good next year. I feel completely comfortable thinking that this team's going to be like this for a decade. That's a dangerous thing to think. Yeah. yeah. But you look at it – so often we look at teams in football or basketball yeah. and we go, okay, they're here to stay after every Super yep. Bowl. Oh, Every yeah. Super Bowl, this team's going to win well, five more. Their favorite dynasty. Next year. And it yeah. rarely happens. But what I've seen over the last four years with Tony Vitello, the way they just re – this wasn't supposed to be the year they won a title. Mm -hmm. This was kind of a rebuilding year. I, I just feel confident – maybe I'm wrong. I'm the jinx. But I feel confident this team's going to continue to be right at this level. Maybe not national champion, but in right. that mix, 
year in and year the, out. The transfer portal makes it possible. I mean, it's, yeah. it's way easier to patch things up and stay up there. But to Vince's point, they're, they're recruiting well out of high school. They're picking and choosing in the transfer portal. They're in a great place. So, uh, yeah, they can keep it up there. And let's not forget, this is like the fifth team that they had. That team with Garrett Crochet in 2020 probably could have made a run itself, yeah. too. So this is yeah. – they've already had it going five straight years. And they're – I think I, – you're right. I think they're going to have a decade run pretty much. And can Jeff I think your question – trainer. I'm sorry. I, I think I said something. He was head trainer. He's awesome. All right. Take your question in a little Five tiny minutes. different direction. Everybody worried about Tony Vitello leaving. Oh, my gosh, Texas may be coming after him. Oh, Texas. You know what? Does anybody worry about Danny White leaving? Because that may be the guy that, that you really need to sit there. I don't know what, how much AD's making everything. But you're, he makes a but lot. You're, He's got a nice big bone. In one such, point, you're in such, such a place that maybe that's the guy that you need to make sure nobody's coming around the back door yeah. and knocking yeah. and saying, hey, you know. Th at the same time, you know, how many schools – could he leave to now that he's got it where it right. is? Yeah. I mean, how many better places can he go? Get on that championship gravy train, baby. Uh, uh, the real quick, John. I thought it was a real telling comment Drew B made on stage about he was at an age where he didn't even really remember the 1998 national mm -hmm. championship in football. Yep. And there's a whole generation out there that just yep. hear about that mm -hmm. and don't really know what it was like when it happened. And now you've seen one on television. All right. yeah. Vince, congratulations Thank again, man. Appreciate congratulations. You. Thanks to all these guys for being here. Uh, congratulations to the Vols. Congratulations to Vol fans everywhere who enjoyed that. Get to Express Frame. Tell them Sports Source. Pick you up one of those keepsakes. Have a good 4th of July. We'll see you right back here next Sunday.